What's going on guys, Ali and Adam here with a quick tutorial. I actually recorded this earlier, but I didn't get any audio, but it's okay, shit happens. Uh, this video is about saturation knob, a really great VST free uh, effect. I'm gonna link it in the video description, so make sure you guys grab this effect. Uh, what it is, is a saturation effect, so it is great on your master, it's great on individual sends, kicks, drums, try it out on vocals, but primarily for things like percussion, um, synths, even mixing, mastering. So it can be used really with any purpose. So here we have a, a few samples. So I have a lead that I made in Massive. I also have an 808 and also a mixed track. So I'm going to run it on all three of these to show you what it's like. And the VST is very basic. So saturation knob has a few settings. You of course have your mix knob. You can see one to 10, zero to 10. You have three um, knobs here, the keep high, the neutral and keep low. So what that does, we'll see it in action, but keep high would only add uh, low end saturation. Neutral would boost low and high and keep low would only boost the high. So that's gonna be useful if let's say you have a flat mix, you wanna enhance it overall, the neutral would be what you want. Or uh, let's say you have a really good track with great low end, but the high end isn't good enough, you wanna add some nice air on the high end, you'd go for uh, something like keep low, where you'd keep your low end, add some nice high end, and vice versa. If you're High end is great, but your low end is lacking, then you can uh, experiment with that and nonetheless just keep experimenting, see how it sounds for you. If we go in the setup section, we can see um, these different parameters here. You can experiment with this. Uh, I don't think it's really necessary. It's a pretty CPU friendly plugin, so uh, I don't think there will be performance issues or needing to experiment with this. Uh, what we'll do is we will run it on this track, the No Fat Police. This song is on my channel. We'll run it on this. This is a rough mix down and we'll go to the drop of the track somewhere around here. And we'll introduce it slightly. We'll leave it off. We'll keep it on neutral and we'll mix it in. So let's play the track without anything on it. And now let's introduce saturation knob. So you can see it's like boosting the lows and the highs. It's getting louder. Now louder isn't always better. And uh, on this mix down, it's not the best representation of saturation knob. That's why we'll throw it on the 808 in the lead in just a sec. If we switch to keep low, you can see it gets really spicy. It adds a lot of air to the track. Now let's experiment with keep high. That's cool. That can really help you guys out. If you are headphone users like me and the sub bass isn't your biggest strength, then this will help to boost um, those areas. And this plugin is similar to Sausage Fattener and, and also plugins like Isotope Exciter. If you've used their Tube Exciter, it adds kind of this nice tube uh, excitation, saturation, um, really adds this nice harmonic distortion. And be careful with it. You don't want to go too extreme because if you're running it at like 100%, it's just gonna annihilate the song. Um, it's gonna be creative uses and less is more when it comes to a plugin like this. So let's go back and let's run it just on this lead here. So we will loop this lead and it's running through the master send, leave it on neutral and we will start cranking it up. <laughs> So this is with it off, on, 
really spicy, louder. Um, let's try just boosting the highs. That's cool. So you can see if you want to add a lot of air quickly, um, this is going to be a plugin where you can really get really good satisfying results out of it. Um, let's switch over to the 808. So again, let's play that 808 uh, just dry and wet. Now let's toggle between the three different modes while the play uh, while the plugin is playing. So this 808 that I made is uh, really low heavy. It doesn't have much high frequencies, but we can see that this will be useful. If you're gonna add it on your kicks, what you could do is, let's say that a kick is EQ'd very well. You wanna add a bit of low end. What you could do is uh, go to the keep high, you know, crank it up slightly, add some low end. Or you could of course do neutral, like I said, if it's very flat. In this case, I would probably say keep low if I did the other ones, I would do a much uh, smaller amount, you know, maybe like 0 0.2, 0 0.3 and working my way up. But when we leave it on keep low and we crank up the knob, it starts to add some high end bite to the track. It can add a lot of power to your kick. And one thing that people really underestimate is the high frequency of the kick. One thing about kicks is that uh, they have a lot of power in their high end. So that transient that you hear, and also um, the high frequencies, even like after 800, 900 hertz and onwards, can give a lot of air and can give, give a lot of crispiness to your kick. So using it uh, like this, um, adding it into the 808 could give you some cool results. So guys, um, check out this plugin. I'm not sponsored by these guys, but I do, the, I do use this on my master send. This is kind of my go-to on my master with a very small amount. Like I've used it at 0.1 or 0.2. I think I used it on Golden Frieza. I used it, I think on the Migos track. In situations where you're, you've, you're mastering, you have everything, you know, you have your EQ, this, that. Right before the limiter, if there's a concern with not enough air, then go ahead, go to your uh, keep low. If there's not enough low end, go to keep high and play around with it. You'll be surprised. You can get some really nice results out of this plugin. So I really like this plugin. Guys, um, this is just a short video and there's going to be more videos coming regarding uh, reviews, different VSTs that I use and sound design stuff so I can just share my knowledge with you guys. If you like this video, drop a like, leave a comment. Um, if you guys want me to check any other plugins, uh, leave me a mention. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, keep making those gains. Love you guys.